Hey there, you're watching Go on Shaw TV, where today's show is all about basketball. Well, hello there, you are watching Go on Shaw TV at the Alberni Athletic Hall, the home of basketball in the Alberni Valley. And you know, it's not often that we talk about basketball and I don't have this guy with me, Lefty Williams, who has another big event going on. Lefty, what's coming up? Well, we have our Unity Celebrity Basketball game, which is coming back. It's been away for two years now. And so now it's coming back October 23rd. October 23rd, this was a big event. We had Shaw there. I was a yep. celebrity coach. I didn't yep. have to actually dribble a ball. This was a good event. What is it for the folks out there who weren't here last time? Well, it's, it's important for us as a church at Jericho Road that we be a bridge into the community. And so one of those things we, we've tried to recognize where the need was, you know, the bre read and feed breakfast club, the ADS breakfast club, the community after school program, the backpack program. And so all of those funds are gonna help those programs. So this is a Unity Celebrity Charity Game. I always get the name mixed up, but it is all about charity. It is all about giving back, and you're holding it right here. Right here, right here in this gym. It's gonna, we're we're going to make it better. We're going to make sound quality better. We're going to make the game more fun, tons of laughs. A lot of people missed that game, and everyone kept saying, when is it coming back? When is it coming back? Well, it's here. It was a big game, and you raised a lot of funds last time. How much? We raised almost 15000 $15,000. This place was rocking. It was full. I know um, we had folks come from Nanaimo and it was standing room only. Yep, yep, standing room only. Some people were upstairs. We had to turn some people away, unfortunately. What I'm begging for this community now is do not wait to the last minute to get your tickets. Absolutely not. We're going to be talking more to Lefty in just a minute. We're going to tell you what you can expect to see at this game because let me tell you, it's big. But before we do that, we're going to tell you about an art exhibit. Now, this is an exhibit unlike any other because it's not where you would expect it. But before we unveil that exhibit, we are going to tell you a story about blankets that are stitched with love. Do you see that look of panic in Dennis's eyes? Well, today's the day this former police officer tries his hand at a potentially new career path. After 27 years of service, the one thing they never taught us was sewing. So this is my first time today. Hopefully I'm not going to embarrass myself too much. Dennis may not be much of a seamstress, but he's lucky he's got some talented teachers. Teachers who created a non-profit business called Huggins by Angel. Angel's been in and out of the hospital a lot for a lot of her life, and so for her, she knows how important it is that kids feel safe and secure. And it really worried her. Every time she's in the hospital, she doesn't worry about herself. She worries about the kids in the beds next. So Angel started sewing blankets. But her goal isn't to create perfect ones. Instead, she caters each one to match each child. Whether it be superheroes or flowers, teddy bears or unicorns. With the help of community volunteers, each blanket is made specially for each child. When you spend all day long in the Huggins Castle, as I would call it, um, she spends all day in here sewing blankets and pillows for sick children. And uh, eventually, as everybody knows, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And she is a master. She's able to do this from morning to night and having the giving feeling at all times is just uh, enormous for me and I have just so much praise for Angel and uh, pretty much I will work together with Angel and see what we can do to not only help our community but help other people around the world. Pin after pin, stitch after stitch. When the blanket seems finished, the most important part of the process happens. Angel puts her love, hugs, and prayers into each blanket. Here's this girl who just wants to wrap sick kids in a warm hug, and, and I kept thinking, well, what value is there in that, right? Are they going to find a value in that, the families? It's absolutely incredible the value that they find in that. 
We just like to read the letters that they send back and, and to hear their stories through bone marrow transplants, through brain surgeries, through transplants, everything. I don't even know how to explain. It's absolutely incredible, something that I never ever thought would happen. There are usually at least 60 kids from around the world on Angel's List, which means Huggins by Angel is growing. She is going to continue on with this. This isn't something that's a spur of the moment. Hey, I'm going to do this. This is something that she's planned and worked on for a long time to do uh, with the help of her mom and, of course, involvement from people in the community that come and help her. We go through one bolt of quilt batting per month, which is $800 a bolt. We, we spend guaranteed $1,000 to $1,100 a month in postage just to mail these blankets. And, and they travel to kids across North America, kids in New Zealand, kids in the Philippines. Team Huggins is always looking for new members, those who either support with donations or lend their time sewing, like Dennis. Is sewing probably in my future career? Let's see how my mandate goes this year. And if it doesn't go well, I'll be getting sewing. I'll be spending a lot of time here. Learn more about Huggins by Angel on their website. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin. Hi, my name's Anne. I'm with the Albany District Fall Fair. Uh, this is our 70th annual fair, so we'd like to invite you all down September the 10th to the 13th to enjoy lots of attractions. Uh, this year we have ATV safety for kids on Friday and Saturday. We have, of course, our traditional home and business show, the Midway, uh, logger sports, tractor pulls, and lots of entertainment, including uh, Wide Mouth Mason on Saturday evening. So please come out and enjoy yourself, and we'll see you at the fair. Crystal Crossman's world is awash with color. She dips her brush in it and spreads it with the confidence of a seasoned artist. So it's a bit of a surprise to discover that she actually started out working in black and white. When I first started, I started doing portraits in pencils, progressed to pencil crayon, which is my absolute love, that's my favorite medium. Um, and then I've transitioned over to oils because it's so versatile and it's, it's a lot of fun to work with. From pencils to paint, from portraits of faces to portraits of nature, change seems to be the only constant in Crystal's work. But this project, well, this project is different again. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, it's quite, um, when I, I have to admit, when I first uh, got the panels home, um, I, it was a bit daunting. <laughs> and it's more than just the size of this project that is overwhelming. Crystal is one of 11 artists chosen to create a permanent art installation in Port Alberni's Aquatic Centre. Our pool needed a little life and vibrancy to add to the pool and so we approached Melissa through the um, Community Arts Council and thought there would be a partnership and a collaboration that we could work to bring uh, the art community and the recreation community together. The project has taken months to complete, from artists submitting concepts to the final placement of all 11 panels, creating a wall of public art that will grace the city for decades to come. It was just so beautiful. I, I, I can't, I've never imagined my artwork in such a big location in town. Can you imagine? Pretty incredible what we have here in Port Alberni and to have this right here in our pool, magnificent. And different. Although the Community Arts Council has been at the forefront of promoting the arts in Port Alberni, creating an installation like this in a sports facility is something new. I think we have to think outside the box and I think with this it's showing people diversity, it's showing people of all different genres and I think it's also showing people of different ages what we can do. It's a legacy and I think it's a really darn, darn beautiful one. 
thought about the idea of continuing this on and doing it for another year, maybe another two years. We've covered one wall, it's beautiful, but it's inspiring us to continue on perhaps and look around the rest of the pool and decide maybe we want to do it just a little bit more. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Nancy Wilmot. Well, hello again. You are still watching Go on Shaw TV. We are still here at the Alberni Athletic Hall talking about the Unity Charity Basketball Extravaganza game with Lefty Williams. Coming up October 23rd, Lefty, what is this game? Describe it if you could. Um, it's, it's, it's a Globetrotter style game. Um, that's pretty much what it is. I put together a team, I'm co-founder of the Harlem Dreams. That's my shirt I'm wearing, the Harlem Dreams. And it's tons of high risers, tons of, I mean, the jumping, athletic ability is ridiculous. The jokes, the comedy, the music, a mixture of things. So as a former Harlem Globetrotter, you're a bit of a showman. I am. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. I, I've got it honest, yes. <laughs> and you've invited some of your celebrity friends to be part of this. Yes, Roadrunner, Lynx, uh, Pope, uh, The Voice, That's just some of everybody. Yeah. Some of everybody. Mm -hmm. You would not believe who Lefty knows in the world of entertainment, in the world of basketball. Mm -hmm. This guy has got it all, and there's going to be some local celebrities too? Yeah, we're playing against the RCMP, the firefighters. Um, I believe someone from the peak is coming, I believe. I think she says she's going to play. You're coaching. Uh, the mayor, Mayor Rattan, is the head coach. Um, uh, Hoagie from uh, a lot of people. A lot of people. I don't know. I don't get to be head coach. Well, you, you're a uh, head assistant. <laughs> I'm, I am the head assistant celebrity coach. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Yep. <laughs> That's something. There will be somebody from Shaw on the court as well. Yep. Somebody who knows a little bit about yep. the game. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're reminding people they should buy the tickets when? Please get the tickets early. Um, the, the Echo Center should have tickets today. Uh, but get them as early as you can because I, I felt so bad when we had to turn people away. We don't want to turn anybody away. And you know, there's something else that's special about this game. It is honoring a special group of athletes in this community. We're going to tell you about that in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to take a stroll down Art Avenue with Melissa Martin. And have you felt it? The buzz around town? You know, it's the bulldog buzz. As much as we love our summer, most of us Canadians seem to have developed this condition where ice is constantly coursing through our veins no matter what time of year it is. It certainly has been a hot, dry summer, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, uh, it was actually nice to be able to come to the rink and, uh, and cool off a, a little bit. As a hockey player playing here, everybody knows the team, everybody knows the dogs. Um, People know the scores of the games, people know who you are. Everyone plays hockey, everyone knows hockey. But there's something a little different about this year's Bulldogs camp. And the coaches and players are picking up on it in a big way. Tryout camp, it's uh, been pretty tough so far, but I guess we'll get through it. And uh, you can feel the buzz in the rink, it's pretty cool. There is a buzz and it's, uh, I'm going into my fifth season here. Um, with the Bulldogs, and this is uh, this is a buzz that we haven't experienced, uh, you know, before the start of the season. So it's it's very exciting. It's new. You could say that this Bulldogs buzz is spreading throughout the community. Locals can feel the excitement, and fans are already piling into the rink for preseason action. It certainly uh, it has been a buzz around town. Uh, you know, for uh, certainly whatever reason, but uh, um, I think uh, last year's uh, playoff games uh, against the Nimo, uh, you know, it was certainly exciting losing in Game Seven. Um, you know, certainly uh, has left the bitter taste in the coaches' uh, mouths, but uh, also maybe the fans. So, uh, hopefully, they're excited to get going just as much as we are. And we all admit, losing to the Clippers in Game Seven was indeed a bitter ending to last season. But that's what's motivating the Bulldogs organization to take the team to the next level this season. Hopefully we've certainly uh, done our homework. Uh, you know, our uh, skill and talent uh, level is up uh, from uh, previous years. Uh, you know, we're uh, certainly uh, seeing a big difference in that, uh, you know, when it comes to just the overall skill. What we're looking for is players that want to compete, uh, players that have the drive, the passion for the game. They have to enjoy what, what they do and they have to uh, you know, ultimately want to be successful student athletes as well, so help us win a championship. 
um, work hard every night for the fans of Port Alberni, um, and then go on to uh, bigger and better things once they're done their time with us. So at this point, the team is taking one thing at a time, focusing on their goals and feeding off this bulldog buzz. I think I'm going to bring a little bit of leadership, uh, hard work, uh, some energy to the lineup. You know, I'm a 20 year old, so it's my last year, but I think I'm going to still be one of the, the guys who are going to spark the team up and get them going. Just looking at the team right now, it looks like we've got a pretty strong team, so I think we've got a championship on our minds this year. People here uh, love their hockey for sure. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're, they're certainly the best uh, fans in the league, so uh, um, if they're excited, we're certainly excited, and uh, hopefully we can bring a product. Uh, um, to them each and every night uh, here at the arena and, and in, entertain them because uh, that's what they're here for. They are certainly uh, uh, very knowledgeable of the game and uh, you know, so we want to provide them with uh, good, exciting hockey. There's only one thing left to say and I'm sure the community will echo this sentiment. Go dogs, go. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jenny Fortin. Welcome to another edition of Art Avenue. As you can see, I am sitting on our beautiful new swing. And here are a few reminders of events that are happening here in the Alberni Valley. Wednesday, September 9th is the official unveiling of the pool mural project and that's happening at the Aquatic Centre. It's going to be a free everyone swim starting at 6.30. So stop on in the Aquatic Centre and take a look at the pool mural project as well as some more colourful things that are happening there on the pool deck. And also another exhibit that's happening at the Roland Art Centre is starting on September 22nd and that's with the Alberni Valley Photo Club. So certainly don't, uh, don't miss out on that event that's happening and a beginning watercolour class that's happening in October that's starting on October 13th and that's with Cynthia Bineski and that's an eight-week course and you can register at Echo Centre today. Tuesday September 8th the Roland Art Centre will be back open for business starting at 11 a.m. and as you can see behind me you'll be able to see this beautiful cedar swing that's been created by Jim Lawson and the kids down at Vast. They've been working hard for about six months on this beautiful masterpiece that will be situated right in our community gardens at the Roland Art Centre. And here's what's happening at Shars Landing. On Saturday, September 12th is Tanner James. Tuesday, September 15th is Jory Kinjo. And Thursday, September 17th is Royal Foundry. And another reminder is to stop in at the Echo Center in their lobby. There is an art exhibit happening there for the month of September with artist May LeBlanc. And another event that's happening here in the Alberni Valley in conjunction with the Draw Gallery, it's the third annual Alberni Valley Paint Out. And that's happening here in the Alberni Valley on Saturday, September 12th and Sunday, September 13th. Well, that's it for another edition of Art Avenue. But before I go, if you would like any information to be shared here on Art Avenue, please contact me at the Roland Art Centre. So until next time, I'm Melissa Martin for Art Avenue. Thank you, Melissa. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how much is going on in this town. Now, we're going to take a bit of a break, so please stay with us. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go on Shaw TV. We are here at the Alberni Athletic Hall talking about the big game that's coming up October 23rd. And it's in honor of a very special group of local athletes. Who are you honoring this year? The 1965 team that won it all. Um, I know um, when they did win, it was something special, but not that many people were actually were able to really lock in and sink in and soak in what, you know, what they did was phenomenal. 
What they did was phenomenal. This is the second time that the Alberni Athletics won the national title, 1965, coached by Elmer Spidell, one of our, our most famous alumni, basketball alumni in this community, but also Tom Watts, Colin McPherson, all sorts of guys on that team, great athletes, every one of them heroes. Yeah, I mean, we, we got to remember, like, this is like all of Canada. This is a national title. And for it to be done twice right here, you know, I was, uh, I'm always talking about dreams, you know, dare to dream, Harlem dreams. We're, we want the community of Port Alberni to keep dreaming and just look back and think if they can do it, we can do it. And so think of hope, the thing of coming together, community coming together, yeah, it's going to be good. It is something so good, and I know you are personally trying to build basketball up to what it was. It is coming back. We've got some great players coming out of ADSS. Mm -hmm. This is part of what you do, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to give hope, and that, that's what we're called to do as a church. You know, Jericho Road is about, again, bridging the gap between the church and the community. Where can we serve? Where can we plug in? You know, by many things that we do, not just the game, back to school bash, which was successful, which was great. Shout out to the Bulldogs for being there and support. Uh, the bridges, the clothing store that we do, the free clothing store. It's just building hope, teaching people to dream. Teaching people to dream, teaching people to get their tickets early. Where do they mm -hmm. get their tickets? The Echo Center, please, please, please. Everyone's been saying to me, I didn't get it. I got there, it was sold out. I'm begging everybody, please get your tickets early. Do not wait to the last minute. I know this is sometimes a last minute community. Where, oh, I'll get it, it'll be wrong. I promise you, they're gonna be gone. This place is gonna be rocking. It will be rocking. We'll be here. I'm hoping you're going to be here with us. Lefty, thank you so much for telling us about it. This is going to be a big game, folks. The Unity Celebrity Charity Basketball Game, October 23rd, right here at the Alberni Athletic Hall. It's going to be big, so get your tickets early. Now, we are almost at the end of our show, but before we say goodbye, Pam Craig has a book to recommend. Hi, uh, my name is Chantal Bernier. I am the new teacher here at the Francophone School, L'Ecole des Grands Cèdres. And uh, it's very important for me to invite uh, all the members of the, the community of Port Alberni to our grand opening. And it will be on September 15 at 1.30. So you are welcome to join us in the front of the school. And uh, we will cut the red ribbon and make it official that the school is open. And uh, I think it will be very nice if we can share that with you. Mon nom est Chantal Bernier. Je suis la nouvelle enseignante à l'École des Grands Cèdres. Et j'aimerais, au nom de toute l'école et des membres de l'école, vous inviter à la grande ouverture qui aura lieu le 15 septembre à 13h30. Ça nous fait plaisir de vous y accueillir et de célébrer avec nous, avec vous, l'ouverture de cette école. The CNIB Mobile Unit is holding a mobile event in Port Alberni on Tuesday, September 15th at the Odd Fellows and Rebecca's Hall at 4358 Roger Street. Specialists will be on hand to offer assistance to blind or partially blind members of the community to access their many free services. Newcomers to CNIB are welcome to attend, but are asked to contact CNIB in advance at 1-800-563-2642. Well, that does bring us to the end of another Go Island, the basketball theme Go Island. Thank you so much, Lefty. Thank you. I just want to leave you with one thought. There is another big event coming up, and it's got a theme song. Until we meet again, be good to each other. Well, every year I dream about winning the fall fair car. I buy a ticket every year, but I haven't won so far. Well, every time I buy a ticket, I seem to have no luck. If I win that fault, fair call, or I won't have to drive my trunk. Well, if I win that fault, fair call, man, that would be heaven. It seems that when I buy apples, I still get lemons. My old truck breaks are bad, and it's smoking blue. Man, I want that fault, fair call, or what it will have. Fall fair car. 
I buy a ticket every year, but I haven't won so far. Every time I buy a ticket, I seem to have no luck. And if I win that 